every place has a history. And in a dense city like New York that's old and so big, there's a history out there that's just waiting to be uncovered. In 2007, Professor Ken Jackson implemented the New York Neighborhoods Project Wiki into his undergraduate course, The History of the City of New York. Most neighborhoods in this city aren't studied. In other words, yes, Greenwich Village, yes, the Financial District, yes, Times Square, yes, the Lower East Side. There are many, many, many books about New York City, 10,000 books about the city, and probably 500 guidebooks to the city. But they don't tell you much about Canarsie, they don't tell you much about, you know, Morris Park in the Bronx, they don't really tell you about Jamaica and Queens because they're not expecting tourists to go there. The goal was for students to work in teams to create an analysis and walking tour of a neighborhood in New York that is not represented in typical guidebooks. Each team's analysis was based upon original research and interviews with neighborhood residents and business owners and included photographs, tables, and maps. Each neighborhood analysis also included a walking tour, which other students in the class went on. We're going to require students to go on these fields. This is not just a hypothetical field trip. This is an actual field trip. You must go on other people's and they must go on yours. So again, it's not just to be put on the web either. It's human beings have to take this to see if it works. How do I know where I am? How do I know where I'm supposed to go from this point? Is it clear that, I, that we're 1163 Antoine Avenue is, and it is, is, it, is that number visible? Is there an awning there? Is it across the street? Is it down the street? Where is it from the subway stop? In other words, there are a lot of practical issues that I really want them to grapple with. Students also used Google mapping technology to capture each walking tour on a single map, creating a visual index of all of the entries in the wiki. If those students go out there and meet with firefighters and meet with teachers and meet with school teachers and meet with business owners and meet with just old folks around the playground or whatever, I think we can bubble some stuff up. While they also give due attention to an old church and a historic building that's there, I don't want them to ignore that. But I don't want you to think that history is just bricks and mortar and it's only history if it's been here since the 1800s. I mean, that's, that's, that's a narrow definition of history. There is an experiment going in the city and that actually people love the city and so even if most of them will never be there again, I want them to love the past and appreciate the past and remember that we build on the past and we don't just create anything out of whole cloth. And that that's part of it, to either love history or respect history. And the other part is to feel the same way about New York City. Even if you decide, you know, I really do want a garden, I really do want to have a horse, I really do want my children to be able to go outside and, and own as far as they can see, if that's what you want, that's okay. But to still have a sympathetic place in their heart for a different choice. The New York Neighborhoods Project Wiki currently has 125 neighborhood entries, and more are added every year. What part of New York will you explore?